Florida State needs players. Mike Norvell believes that he's upgraded the roster significantly through the transfer portal and the 22 recruiting class. Welcome to the Voice of College Football, FSU. Join us for our weekly live stream every Wednesday, 6 Eastern. Get here live. Bring your comments and questions. We answer everything with Logan Robinson from Noel Game Day, Big Game James Coleman, and of course, Jason Parker. All right, let's get to it. But make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, share these videos out on social media to help us grow the channel so we can continue to deliver top-notch content. Athlons came out with its top five newcomers for Florida State football. We've added five ourselves. Give us your comments below. Let us know what you think. For Florida State, uh, here they pick up a big linebacker from UCF. This guy's a tackling machine. Got Tatum Bethune. 108 tackles this past season. Had a couple picks, a couple sacks, five, five and a half tackles for loss. And uh, consider that Amari Gaynor, DJ Lundy, more dynamic type players. They can rush the passer from the linebacking position. This guy is more of a tackling machine in the run game and uh, a good complement to what uh, they've got at linebacker at Florida State. Tatum Bethune, great addition right there. All right, next up, we've got offensive lineman Caden Lyles from Wisconsin. Wisconsin offensive lineman seems to be a pretty good addition, especially since he's got 15 starts with the Badgers in the Big Ten. Remington watch list at the outset of 2021. Before he got hurt, he's going to play at the guard position. Also through the transfer portal, this guy could be a wrecking crew himself, wreaking havoc on ACC offenses. Jared Verse from Albany, Florida State won a, um, a battle with Tennessee for the services of one Jared Verse. Of course, Jermaine Johnson is off to the NFL, and he was the best pass rusher in the conference last season. Also, Kier Thomas is gone. So they're going to need a pass rush from somebody, and Jared Verse is a top candidate. 11 and a half tackles for loss and nine and a half sacks last season. Also, the top rated uh, player in the 2022 recruiting class would be safety Sam McCall. We could see him make a huge impact this fall. McCall, the fourth rated player uh, at safety, top rated player, uh, top 10 in the state of Florida. Out of Lakeland at 6'1", 185. He had 71 tackles and four picks in his career. And he could possibly earn a spot opposite uh, Jamie Robinson in the safety position. Otherwise, you got to think that he's going to get meaningful reps and make an impact this fall immediately. And Athlon's also released uh, as one of its top five quarterback, A.J. Duffy. Well, A.J. Duffy will probably not play meaningful snaps this season unless there's an injury to Jordan Travis. But let's keep in mind that Travis did get beat up last season and uh, did not uh, play a full season for Florida State. So he runs around all over the place, and he's susceptible to injury to a certain extent. And Duffy comes in from IMG Academy as the 11th-rated uh, quarterback in the class and the top-rated Florida State quarterback signee since Malik Henry in 2016. So he wants to push for the number two quarterback position, set himself up for 2023, of course. That's the Athlon's top five. We're hearing good things out of Florida State spring practice about Azahir Thomas, 6'2", 181, fourth-rated athlete, rather, yes, fourth-rated athlete in the athlete position in the country, top 100 player, and uh, again, he is impressing early in camp. Also, Rodney Hill, you've got him as well as a 26th-rated um, athlete in the country out of the state of Georgia. A couple veteran players through the transfer portal. Johnny Wilson, who caught 18 passes at Arizona State, and Micah Pittman, the wide receiver from Oregon, where he snatched 36 catches and a couple touchdowns. A veteran in Greedy Vance add him to the secondary rotation at cornerback. He had 36 tackles at Louisville last season. One unfortunate note is, of course, a guy that was expected to make a huge impact, Winston Wright from West Virginia, where he caught 63 passes in 2021, suffering um, some serious injuries from an automobile accident a couple weeks ago. So, our thoughts and prayers go out to Winston Wright and his family and hope to see him back on the football field. But most 
importantly, a healthy um, future for him. All right, that's the Athlon's Top 5. We tacked on top, our top five as well. Your thoughts down below right here at the Voice of College Football. And remember our Florida State show every Wednesday at 6 Eastern time.